Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode 32 of Healing Good Pretty Here. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I don't even remember what the heck is happening in today's episode. I mean, woo. Oh, well, at least they're showing a new intro with everybody. Jesus, it took 32 episodes to finally do this. And this is probably the only Oh no, this is the episode where they help out at um she use in Baby's learning. Oh my god. Stop it. Honestly, I wish we had something like this to do when we were in elementary, not elementary school, middle school or high school. <laughs> no, you can't. There's too many people around. <laughs> Next time. Oh, he's so cute. So literally, he's going to be next in line after Chiyu. That makes sense. <laughs> it makes you wonder, you know, like, okay. When this show finally got the rights... For Crunchyroll to stream it and how um, people wrote articles on Figuretown and how adorable and precious that he needs to be protected and it's like that. I wonder after seeing this episode if there are any articles about him now being like this, <laughs> this boy, this penguin, <laughs> little jealous, <laughs> cutie, patootie. I can imagine that. Oh my god. I, like, imagine if someone, if, if I got paid to write an article about why he is so precious. <laughs> I do it in a heartbeat. Be like, hey, that's free money. And be like, come on. Because he is so precious. He He's the precious one out of all three. As much as I love Ramin and... <laughs> my baby latte like pink Ton is just that one you feel like oh my god you relate to <laughs> it's so much <sighs> <sighs> Honestly, makes me wonder how these three are going to do today. Specifically, you know. Oh, <laughs> me. Men as well. I mean, y'all see how badass she is now, so. Mm. See, I feel like Dario can handle it because Dario, but, um, <laughs> let's look side-eye. 
Sure. Everybody place your bets now. We're gonna figure it out. But you know, this episode on who survives. Um. How you doing over there? Eh. I mean, you look nice, though. You, you just, you know. I'm just waiting for daughter. That's all. Miko Bayashi. Of course, you know, because you got to take the longest. <laughs> oh, baby. Me and my dog. Shouldn't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then try to vacuum. Being <laughs> done. <laughs> It's okay. Yeah, so you'll still be able to use it. You just take your time. Mm hmm. Honestly, really seeing them do this, like, it, oh god. Um, this whole episode in a nutshell, even though we're only really seven minutes in, um, reminds me of the series Konohata Kitten. If you have not seen that show, definitely watch it. It's a really, really good show. It was one of, like, still one of my top favorite action shows to watch. Oh, Toji, isn't that a little too much? Mm-hmm. Toji, I get that, but sometimes y you can't always do that. It's okay, don't feel down. You tried your best. Yeah, before you get sick. No, don't be sorry. It's not your fault. It was an accident. I'm not going to say, like, Toji feels pressured, but... Because of the fact is he wants to help so much. Mm hmm. Once her mom and her grandmother pass away, she'll be the face. 
And then when she passes on, it'll be your brother's turn. That's why she's so like, you keep going and can Oh my god, BB. Heck, it would have been hilarious if they even got Yukiko's actress to come <laughs> to come and do the show as her. Toji. No, 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 no. They were just accidents. And it's okay if you mess up. Yeah, that's exactly how he feels. Yeah. It's about taking your time and learning to grow. Don't always put so much pressure on yourself that you need to be on that level of Chi Yu. Mm hmm. It's gonna be okay. Mm -hmm. and look right here she's not scolding you she's just not mad at you or anything yeah you did something that was wrong but still it's okay poor baby he just needs some help he needs some he needs to be cheered up. After the day he's had anybody would need someone to cheer them up, you know? Yeah, you do. Mm hmm You just have to find them. That too. Also, where is that puppy? I mean, puppy was just like one and done. I'm gonna dip. Let's just say someone very important to your sister. I just want a plushie of them. I want a plushie of all three, uh, four of these mascots. You know, they could be like little teeny tiny ones, like Beanie Babies. Of course, the muscle head goes after the muscle head. Mm. Just like you know how Manette, Besco Manette from Sailor Moon, kept always going after some hot guys. <laughs> Because why? Hot guys have the purest hearts.
makes sense. Oh God, Toji almost found out. <laughs> Can you imagine how he possibly would have felt after finding out? Jesus, like you would have. See, okay, one thing that I love about this series that is kind of different from Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon was about our typical, you know, almost like superhero us. If someone finds out the identity of the superhero, magical girl, whatever, their life is now in danger. Pretty Gear has never really has it I don't know I don't think it has I mean because like I, yes I've seen every freaking season but it's been a long time but I don't really think there's been a season where like someone's find out maybe in season one and they're in immediate danger now if we're going like the Tokyo Mew Mew route yes <laughs> because of course we got to save the boyfriend right <laughs> You have a seat. Does, uh, he doesn't know that they have a power too that is OP to kick the thing's butt, but okay.
God, that thing is still so pretty. so pretty that my eyes hurt once again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, Toji is just oh god, so freaking cute. For okay, if we're gonna talk about siblings, he's got to be my second favorite. My first favorite is um. No, not Yukari. Um, Akira. Akira's little sister. Loved her so much. I can't remember her name. I think it started with an M. But she was so freaking cute and how much she wanted to be around her. And then how, like, you know, Yukari may have had letters for her and telling her about everybody. And then, you know, she went so in about Yukari. Be like, mm, girlfriends, my god. That's so cute. But yeah, he's a cutie patootie. Love him so much. I mean, honestly, he didn't have to go in and get the puppy and protect the puppy, but he did. Like, oh my god, this baby has evolved in like one damn episode. Oh my god. But this was still not only really a Toji episode. This was a, a, a bleh, I can't speak. To you episode. I mean, honestly, this was a really good episode. I'm glad she was able to protect her brother. I mean, heck, even the fact that, you know, he was kind of spot on about the person who was watching him. Not really, just someone who was close to his sister. I did like the fact that we got to see, you know, the ins and outs of caring for an inn. Oh. That's interesting. We've never really had a um a season of pretty here where that's happened. I mean, ooh. I do also still like the fact that, you know, um <laughs> Nadoka's past is still always coming up in when it is a Nadoka focused episode because still there's so many unanswered questions with her and I hope we get those answered I mean because we're we're not really done done with this show yet but we're slowly but surely week after week we are getting there and I know the show isn't gonna end in January I think it's gonna end like I um, 
I can't even answer that. I want to say because of Corona, I feel like it's not going to end until like the end of February, possibly March. Because did they already announce like when the Healing Good Pretty Cure movie is coming out? Because we already know recently, like the All Stars movie just recently came out, but who knows about that one? I mean, it is, it still would be weird if we go on to the new series and then. We're going back to the previous series because the movie is coming out and everything like that, but who knows. Um, but yeah, like I said, this episode was good. I love learning more about the end teeny tiny bit. I mean, it's almost how, like, with not only Konohana Kitsun or even Spirited Away, um, movies and shows that deal with someone running an end and seeing the ins and outs of how it is to make the end the way it is. It's very interesting because, I mean... You don't see those things sometimes, especially like, you know how, like, um, I think when I was a kid, like, you know, when Sweet Life of Zack and Cody used to come out and how you were kind of seeing how to run a hotel or when you're playing like a life simulation game, like the Sims, you shut up freaking Alexa. Um, as I was saying, a life simulation, like the Sims or anything. And especially like with The Sims 3, when you could make your own hotel and you could run your own hotel and you're seeing the ins and outs and stuff like that. That's really what it was for this episode. We didn't get to see a lot of it, um, but we got to see like a little teeny tiny bit. Maybe they could do another episode if they really wanted to, but who knows? I mean, they, they've technically already finished the show and they have like what they want for their episodes, but still it would be nice because I mean, seeing Chiyu in her environment, whether it is working at the end or seeing her, you know, doing her, her sports and stuff like that. It's just one of those things, one of many things of why I like Chiyu as a character. I mean, she's a really interesting girl out of the four girls, even though my best girl is Umi and such because Umi. <laughs> it's just hearing about Chiyu and what her dreams and her passions and her goals are every single week or when we have a chiyu focus episode it's interesting even seeing her sometimes be a, a freaking motherly figure for towards um Naroka and Hina at times is also interesting as well I mean there, there are times where like all four girls are a mother figure towards the rest of them no matter what but yeah other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode 32 of healing good pretty cure if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next mm, yeah saturday or sunday i don't know i mean it depends because one of my other shows that got postponed due to corona is officially coming back officially this saturday so I don't know, but until then, I will see you guys officially on next time. Bye, guys.